गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम आई सी एस सी क्लास एट दैट इज एलिमेंट्स कंपाउंड एंड मिक्सचर सो वी विल बी डूइंग द थिंग्स फास्ट एज आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन मेनी थिंग्स इन द ऑनलाइन क्लास सो वट आर एलिमेंट्स एलिमेंट्स इज जनरली अ प्योर सब्सटांस विच कैन नॉट बी स्प्लिट इन टू अदर सब्सटांस बाई सम केमिकल मीन्स एलिमेंट्स आर जनरली दे आर से वन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन एलिमेंट्स एन योर पीरियडिक टेबल and please check periodic table on internet or generally paste that periodic table where you are sleeping so that whenever you are getting up in the morning you can see the periodic table and you can learn the symbols and names of elements many elements are there like hydrogen nitrogen oxygen iron cobalt zinc copper then silver gold these are the few elements which i have spoken to you and many element name is written here and their symbol is also given here right so elements generally uh, there are some elements for example helium is represented by h and e now you are thinking why hydrogen is because hydrogen already given name with the say symbol with the h so we can't give same symbol to helium otherwise it is difficult for differentiation and between hydrogen and helium so we have taken it as h e c here in cobalt case they have given c and o now many of them are thinking why not uh, c only for cobalt because c is already given for carbon and cu is already given for copper right so like this it is been named and some in some cases there are latin names are also taken like in silver they have taken ag and in case of gold they have taken au right Now why in case of silver they have taken ag because uh, for silicon they have already taken si so silicon resembles with silver that's why students does not get confused and they have uh, taken its symbol with respect to its uh, latin name and its latin name is argentum similarly for gold it is aurum so they have taken au right now we will be discussing what are compounds compounds are those in which at least two or more elements combine and they can be split by the chemical means right it is uh, uh, however in some of the compounds it's not so easy to split them but generally we can split the compounds by simpler uh, into simpler substances by chemical means there are some of the properties of compounds like water is formed by the combination of hydrogen and oxygen right so um, also the compound property is different from which it is formed for example uh water is formed from hydrogen and oxygen so hydrogen burns with the blue flame and oxygen help in combustion yeah it is you can say it is a supporter of combustion but water doesn't burns with the blue flame and it does not support combustion also so property of a compound is always different from the substances ya elements from which it is made up of right similarly in the case of carbon dioxide carbon is black in color oxygen is a supporter of combustion but carbon dioxide does not support combustion and it is a gas so these are some of the properties other you can read it from here however we have already um, done these things in the online class now what about electrolysis of water they have given one of the simple uh, syst- uh, means by which you can separate uh, water into oxygen and hydrogen right so this is the method how you can separate they are saying first of all we have added in water either you can add h2so4 some few drops of h2so4 in water or some drops of hcl in it right in the water so that water get ionized right so that it can be differentiated between means it should have ions of h positive and o2 negative however that part is not in your syllabus so we will not be going deep in that so i am going to explain you only how electrolysis of water is been done here in case of um, this video electrolysis is done like this here, here they have taken a one um, big beaker there is wires inside of test tube a and a wire 
test tube B. Test tube A is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. It means this wire is connected to the negative terminal. This wire is getting connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Right now, what happened? This is negative terminal, but hydrogen form positive and ion and oxygen form negative ion right and so uh, positive will go towards the negative side and negative will go towards the positive side so oxygen will be deposited in uh, test tube b by the downward displacement of water and hydrogen in the test tube a by the downward displacement of water now many students will be asking why this gap is uh, yeah hydrogen is more and oxygen is less because if we see the reaction of electrolysis of water it is like this h2o under electrolysis right here i am writing it with the e only electrolysis means electric current is being passed here and it changes to h2 plus o2 but reality is that this equation is not being balanced here so in order to balance this equation we have to multiply this with two now oxygens are balanced but hydrogen is not balanced so in order to balance hydrogen we have to multiply it with two so reality is that two volumes of hydrogen means double hydrogen is being produced and single part of oxygen so in uh, sense with oxygen hydrogen is double here right so i think it is understood why there is uh, more hydrogen and oxygen is less now we will be moving towards the thermal decomposition thermal decomposition means some of the chemical compound decompose thermally means with the help of temperature they can be broken down into two or more different substances for example calcium carbonate on a very high heat required here maybe temperature near to 1000 degree celsius so this is the reaction CaCO3 is the formula of calcium carbonate when we heat it right uh, somewhere near to 1000 degree celsius it will break into CaO plus H uh, sorry plus CO2 plus CO2 right so it broken down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide right so i think it is been clear and many other reactions are there uh, i have written this reaction uh, broadly here also right so it will be much more clear to every student and many other are there like sodium hydrogen carbonate and a h co3 is the formula on heating it will get to na2 co3 plus co2 plus water and in order to balance it we have to multiply it with two also so however that part is not in your part syllabus but still i am telling you in between you can pause the video you can listen the notations and formulas again and again right now we are moving towards the compound are represented by formulas so compounds are generally represented by the formula however in the previous page i have told you about the different formulas of the uh, compound similarly many formulas are written here for example ammonia ammonia is represented here with nh3 similarly sodium hydroxide with naoh and many other compound formulas are given for example sugar formula is c12 h22 o 11 now we will be moving towards the important characteristics of the compound a compound can be split into its constituent elements only by chemical means and not by the physical means remember this thing compound is always separated only and only by chemical means not by physical means like normally in physical means we can separate stones from rice right we can separate stone from rice we can do sieving method we can do threshing method winnowing methods are there these all are physical method but for separating a compound we need a chemical method a chemical method required right okay so how we can separate uh, these substances only by chemical methods there can be displacements also see here there is a very good reaction here zinc on reaction with h2so4 h2so4 is sulfuric acid and this is zinc it will form znso4 plus hydrogen gas arrow is towards upside that means this is a gas and hydrogen is evolved here so many other reactions are there related to this one of the reaction i have explained you and in next video i will be taking other 
करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ केमिकल कंपाउंड्स थैंक यू